It's our revival service, and I hope we are here. We have come expecting from the Lord. I'll read from Psalm 95, from verse 1 to the end. Psalm 95, verse 1 to the end. The Bible says, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with psalms. For the Lord is the great God, and the great King above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The height of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your hearts, as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness. When your fathers tested me, they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I was grieved, with that generation and said it is a people who go astray in their hearts and they do not know my ways so i swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest our father and our god we give you all the glory thank you because you are the rock of our salvation we are your people the sheep of your pasture thank you because the deepest part of this earth the bible says are in your hand so whatever we are searching for you already have them. We give you all the praise, O oh Lord. Father, as those fathers did in the days of old, we do not want to do that. We have come today. Lord, we pray that our hearts will not be hardened in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will enable us to walk into you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we also pray that our prayers will be akin to them and give us speedy answers in the name of Jesus. We praise you, Abba Father. Be thou exalted, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. So Hallelujah. 
Lord, have I lost relationships? Have I lost a job? Father, today you will restore me. In the name of Jesus. Because I know you are the mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One more time this morning. There's a word for someone. But if you allow the Lord and His word to work in your life, the word that will come today is not the one that will suit you, but it's the one that will take you back. And the Spirit of the Lord is telling me here, there's someone, you have been doing something for God, but you have stopped doing it. And He says to you, if you want me to restore back your glory, go back to that which you are doing. That's the word of God for someone. It may be you, I don't know. But the Lord has told me to tell you. We're going to pray this morning and say, Father. Father. I don't know, it's a revival service, so I'd like you to pray like you not prayed before. Say, Father. Father. I have found myself in your sanctuary. Found in your sanctuary. Everything that has stopped to work in my life. Okay. Father, restore it to Father, restore it to me. There may be dead cells in your body that have stopped. There may be cells in your body that have stopped to work. And you are beginning to feel falling. Oh Lord, everything in my life is in your job. Ah, they say, oh, you have not stopped doing this. Oh, you have stopped doing that. They have stopped paying you this amount. They have stopped doing that. Oh, in your scores, in your child. There's something, there's something that you want restoration for. Go before the Lord this woman and say, Father, in this service, so God, you will give me an encounter. You will restore me back, oh God. You will restore back my glory. I've someone stolen your glory. I've someone stolen your destiny. I've someone stolen your promotion. I've someone stolen your place. I've someone taken something from you. They have refused to return. Oh, you are still wandering in that place. Oh, Lord, God of restoration. Restore back, oh God. Restore back, oh God. This morning, Lord, we cry unto you, Lord. Father, restore back, oh God. The glorious destiny, oh God. For every one of us to today, Lord, there shall be an encounter of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Ephesians chapter 3 and in verse 14 and it says for the reason I bow my knees to the Father our Lord Jesus Christ for whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named that his glory be strengthened with might through the spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the sense, with the width and the length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ, which passes all knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. I pray for you in this service. The fullness of God will be restored unto you in the name of Jesus. Your spirit man will fellowship with heavens. Heavens will fellowship with you. Everything that needs restoration in your life, the Lord will restore it bountifully in the name of Jesus. Is there someone who is here? The Lord has told me that joy of the Lord will become your strength. That joy that has been stolen from you, your peace has been taken away from you. This moment, the Lord is restoring you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Can we welcome someone to church? Let's welcome someone to church. Welcome someone to church. Hallelujah. Give them a smile. So perhaps someone is not smiling. Just smile for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're a family here. Welcome to Divine Assembly Ministries. Hallelujah. We want to welcome special people in our midst. You're here, you're worshiping God for the first time in our midst. We want to welcome you specially. And if you're that person, can you please just wave? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have a lot of people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. We want you to rise in your feet. Hallelujah. If it's not too much to ask. Can you please rise with me? Hallelujah. Fire will be saving for you. Hallelujah. 
Can you shake hands with them? Hallelujah. sit down we want to pray for you church can we pray for these ones and say father thank you for bringing them into your sanctuary you are the god of restoration every area of their life that need restoration father restore them now in the name of jesus lord you have ordered their steps you will bring them in specially you brought them in father restore to them everything that they need in the name of jesus Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Please, after the service, we would like to fellowship with you and also know you better. So please do not rush away. We have a special gift for you. And the pastor would like to meet you and also welcome you specially. This is Divine Assembly Ministries. Uh, we want to announce our days of our fellowship. Please, Sundays like this, we come for our family worship. This is the family church. I know every one of you has just joined belongs to a family, but you can make this your family. And I'm sure those who have come, who have joined, have also testified out of the truth. God is here. God is in this place. Please, we'd like you to make it a point, a place for where you worship, also with your family. So Sunday service starts first with the Work has come in by 9.30, and then the main service, starting with Sunday school, begins. How many of us are blessed today with Sunday school? Can we appreciate our teacher? God bless her. Hallelujah. Sunday school is a time where we learn very important topics. I can tell you, if you've just come into the country, please do not fear. The series that's going to run in Sunday school will be very interesting. And I'm sure that you know that information is power. There are some things that you don't know. When you come to church, you hear it. And I'm sure you'll be more edified. These things are for our edification and for our upliftment. And the Lord indeed will uplift us in the name of Jesus. On Tuesday is our prayer meeting, both on site and off site, and the time is 7 p.m. Hallelujah. And Friday is our empowerment hour, is our Bible study. Study to show thyself approved, a workman. So, as Christians, we need to study the Bible. So, we have a series that runs every Friday, and the time is 7 p.m. If perhaps you're not opportune to be here physically, uh, we don't hold it physically here, we hold it via Zoom. So, please, the link is only sent on the church WhatsApp page, and also you also join on Facebook. The name of our page is Divine Assembly Ministries on Facebook. And as you do, the Lord indeed will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Uh, we want to announce that every last Tuesday of the month is a Holy Communion. And the time is 7 p.m. Every last Friday of the month is a Women Vigil. Women shout hallelujah. Uh, women, this does not include those who are married. If you're not married, you can also join. And every last Friday of the month. So please, let's take that into consideration. And there's a special thing that happens when the women come to pray. They do something that's very special. They dine first before they start praying. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Imagine when you are eating and you are strengthened. Prayers will be answered. And heaven will open unto our women in the name of Jesus. Every first Friday of the month is our congregational vigil. Please, we are announcing this because in this part of the world, 
there's a tendency for you to pray less. So when we announce this thing, it's also to strengthen your own spiritual life. Please, let's take note that every Friday, we don't take so much of our time because we know a lot of us are working on ship. The time for the VG starts 11 p.m. And by 1 o'clock, we are done so that you can go back home and also have a rest before you begin. The Lord indeed will bless us as we come and all our prayers will be answered in the name of Jesus. Uh, we want to also make it aware that we have qualified counselors in, our, in the church um, who we can speak to in confidence. Um, there's a lot of mental talk that goes on. We know that sometimes can be really mentally and emotionally stressful um, in this part of the world. Sometimes you may not have family to talk to, but you can have someone in church who is family to speak to. So please, uh, let's note that this will be treated with high confidentiality and you'll be giving counsel on how to deal with your situation. And the Lord indeed will provide wisdom to guide you all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The way I have testifiers in the house. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one hand. Only one. I'm seeing another one. Hallelujah. Ushers, can we get the mic? Okay, God bless you, sir. Yes, can we get the mic? Yes, God bless you, Lord. Your testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Oluwatosin. I'm here this morning to appreciate God for what He has done in my life. Um, when we started this journey, I came through student route. Myself and my husband were planning it, but unfortunately, the devil rose his head. It was denied. They gave me the the visa. I cried. My son would tell me, why are you crying? You are giving another chance to reapply. I said, you cannot understand. This journey is draining. But I want to appreciate God as we, I came here alone. But I was not happy, but I met with a family. They embraced me. Um, last month, immediately, we, we put up the, the POF again. My sisters rose for the, for the financial assistance. So on the day I'm supposed to apply, the devil's stroke. I was duped with the money I ought to use for the application. I called my sister there. All of us were crying. So how is it going to be? I told the Lord, God, I cannot tell this man that this thing has happened again, that it will just faint. I called my sisters. Everyone rose. The following morning, the money was completed. I really want to appreciate God for that help. And when I was in church last week, Daddy said, everything we lost that we are going to get it. And mama, mama was praying that we should all pray for what we want our heart, the, our heart desire. 25th of October was my husband's birthday. I said, God, please grant him this visa for his birthday gift. That will come to this sanctuary to appreciate him. And lo and behold, that, um, other ways that I was waiting for this visa, the visa did not come. But it was on Friday. I really want to get the praise God because he came and he was very, very happy. And I'm also happy to appreciate God. Indeed, God answers prayer. Yes. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. Who did it? Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for restoration. The second testifier. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I really want to bless God because God has been faithful to me and my family. Um, I think the journey started uh, a few weeks back. Uh, I was meant to do my practical test, driving test here. <laughs> it's been a journey because it was tied to my placement. I was posted to ECC for my placement and one of the requirements is that you have to have a full UK license. I've seen people's placement being withdrawn. At least two of my friends were withdrawn because they couldn't meet the deadline. Here I am. I was not even sent the mail to even remind me that, um, have you passed? So I was able to skip through the, uh, the induction stage without being bothered. I want to bless God because I did my test and I passed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who has done that? Jesus. I've seen people who have failed time and time and again. But in this sanctuary, there's been many of those. In fact, I was a witness to one. Two this week. Hallelujah. God is faithful. And that's why I want to share his testimony even before he came. Because I was with him. And I told him, he was really panicky. I said, don't worry. 
Guess what? The place he was really scared of. The man said, no, don't go there. We're going to go here. The route he was really scared that that ran about is a very difficult one. Lo and behold, we didn't even waste time. It was just 20 minutes. And he just said, just park, reverse, go back. Just little things. And after that, I said, oh, can you go back? Just follow the nav and go back to the center. That was it. And we got there and said, congratulations. God is faithful. Let's keep trusting God and believing God. The Lord will do it in Jesus' name. Uh, sorry, ma, I'll come to you. Please, sir. Oh, sorry. Let's just follow. God bless you. Okay. okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, basically, I just want to um, yeah, thank God for adding another life to my mom's birthday. Hallelujah. Last week Wednesday, so yeah, I just want to thank God and yeah, thank you for Hallelujah. Thank God for the gift of life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Children of God, I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was here last Sunday. I stood here. And I wept. And the Lord saw me through. I was in this country with none of my family. I came together with my brother here. And we came. And last week, he invited me. As I was praying with that, I posted it in tears. The Lord did it. <laughs> Daddy hired me under his armpit and said it is well with me. Children of God, I am a pastor and I he is a pastor. I've seen the anointing flowing in him. The Lord will increase your anointing son. I never knew which way to go. I never finished my enrollment. I never get the job. But who did it? Jesus. Just Wednesday, they gave me shift work to do. And I went into the work. I did my own hours of work that I have to do during the week. And my enrollment, surprisingly, University of Essex never allowed people to register except to complete it. I invited one of my South African uh, lady to help me pay with this card with a card, because Naira cannot be paid. And I tried it in front of the uh, income people. And the, we find out that I was changing myself with 100 pounds. And the guest said, he cannot revert the money to me within a day. So I have to summon courage, not knowing that income people are looking at us. They said, what is the problem? You are keeping us too, you are keeping too much in time. Lo and behold, one of them stood up and went to the money guy inside. When she arrived, he said, my brother, congratulations. The income people has allowed you, you will register with that money, and you will be allowed to pay the remaining money later. This is your ID card. Children of God, shout a loud hallelujah for me. Hallelujah. The Lord who has done it will complete it in Jesus' name. Yeah. No, give to our woman over there. God bless you. Yes, the one at the end. I just want to thank God. I did apply for this job. When I went, they said, they did the interview and they said, you got the job. And they yeah. called me back. They said, we want you back. Then I said, then they said, you know what? We need a manager here. You are going to be one of the managers. Said, Hallelujah. And I said, oh, I've never done that before. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> then they said, don't worry. We'll take you through the process. So then they just did my CQC DBS, and they are doing the CQC application form. So I just wanted to thank God. Hallelujah. For a role you did not apply for, God will do wonders for us in the name of Jesus. Who, are, who is the doer of all this? Jesus. Can we give him thanks? Can we give him thanks? Hallelujah. Can we just say, Lord, thank you for all this you have done? Just appreciate God. Just thank you.
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our righteous Father, I want to say thank you. We bless the Lord for all those who have testified today. We thank for those that will even testify next week. We appreciate you, Father, because we perfect all that concerns us. And your name is more we glorified. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' most powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody praise the name of the Lord. Shall please be on our feet as we take the hymn as a church. Praise the Lord. We will not be displaying him on the um, on the TV screen here, but if you go to the WhatsApp platform, it's been dropped there, please. Please be here with us, thank you. Draw me nearer. Hallelujah.
remain standing. Let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Thank Him because the presence of God is here. Bless Him. Adore His name because God is going to touch you. God is going to speak to you. He's going to restore you. Please open your voice. Open your mouth. Use your voice and appreciate Him. Let's adorn him. We have not come to meet a man. Don't put your faith in me. Put your faith in the one who called me. Who I rely upon that he will speak through me. He is going to do great and mighty things. God said to me in the place of prayer, If my people honor me today, I will honor them. It's up to you, honor God. Bless him. Appreciate him. Say, Lord, I thank you. Today is the last Sunday in the month of October. Give glory to your keeper, our hiding place, the giver of life. Is the giver of life, is the keeper as well. Is the one keeping you day and night. He woke you up today to showcase his glory in your life. Thank him. Raise your voices. Wave your hand to the right and left. Exhort him. For God is mighty in our midst this morning. I can feel it in my spirit. God is going to do great and mighty things here today. I pray you will not miss your time. Bless you. Bless you. Adore him. Look beyond the vessel this morning. Look beyond the vessel. Look beyond the vessel. Look unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith.
rectify in my situation, go ahead and talk to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, pray. Lord, I am in your presence. Be glorified, be magnified. Be glorified, be magnified. In my situation, in my life, be glorified. Be magnified. Open your mouth and pray. It's our private service. If I were you, I would pray. If I were you, I would pray. It's an appointment with destiny today. The Lord be glorified. Be magnified. In my life. Don't compare yourself with somebody. We are all here, but our time are not the same. Pray. There is nothing like our destiny. It's your destiny. Open your mouth and talk to God. Be magnified. Be glorified. Manifest your greatness in my life today. Magnify yourself in my life. Manifest your power and your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Magnify yourself. Magnify your name. In my life and in my situation. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus. Precious name we have prayed. I decree upon you today. Everything you have lost shall be restored now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Book of Malachi 7 and verse 8. Please don't sit down. Unless you cannot stand. Who is reading for us? Let's be quick. We want to pray within 30 minutes. Malachi 7 8. Malachi 7 verse 8. Verse 8. Micah. Sorry, Micah. Don't go downstairs now. Don't go now. Anyone? Micah. Micah Verse 8. Do not rejoice over me. Do not rejoice over me. My enemy. My enemy. When I fall, when I fall, I will rise. I will rise again. Open your mouth and pray. I will rise again. Begin to pray. I will rise again. Go ahead, talk to God. I will rise again. In the name of Jesus. Declare, declare, declare. I will rise again. By the power in the name of Jesus. I am rising. I will rise again. Do not rejoice over me, my enemies. When I fall, I will rise again. When I seek in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. That's the word of God. I will rise again. Pray with all your power. Don't look at me. Close your eyes and pray. The power of God is moving our means. It's a revival service. And God has sent all this world. I am ready to restore my people. Don't rejoice over me and my enemies. When I fall, I will rise again. I will rise again. No matter the situation, I will rise again. I will not help like this. I will rise again. 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 Above every obstacles. Above delay. Above any cost. I will rise. Please pray. I will rise. Whatever your confession is your possession. Confess that word. In this situation I am, I will rise. No matter the situation, I will rise. In the name of Jesus, I will rise again. In the name of Jesus, I will rise again. In the name of Jesus, 
I will rise again. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. As you have declared in the presence of your Father, so it shall be in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have come to pronounce the word of God upon you today. That in the name that is above every other name, you and I shall rise again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is here, the Lord is saying to me, the anointing you know respect cannot bless you. That's the word of God for somebody. I always tell you here, look beyond the vessel. You have not come to meet me. But the anointing you will never respect, you will not be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Proverbs 24, verse 16. Look at the word of God. For a righteous man may fall how many times? Seven times. Seven times. And he will rise again. Please don't give up. God is speaking to those who are here for God today. Not everybody. I have his word in me. Don't give up. Because you will rise again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray that prayer again. I will rise again. You know, righteous man may fall seven times. So what's the situation that you are saying you want to kill yourself? That you are saying you don't want to serve God anymore. You don't want to go to church anymore. How many times have you failed? Falling is not failing. And failing is not final. We were not here yesterday. And we will not be here tomorrow. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. This place is too small for us. Before the end of this year. We are going to a bigger place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, pray with passion. In the name that is above every other name, I am rising. And I will never fall again. Open your mouth and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. That's the word of God for you. I am rising. This ministry is rising. I will not fall again. No. I am rising. I am going higher. I am going places. I am going there. I am going places. Declare, declare. There is power in your mouth. Don't wait until you can lay on the pod. Or go and recall your situation. You have come to meet the master. The one who called me is here. In the name of Jesus, I am rising. My destiny is rising. Please, those of you who are working, pray. I am rising. For a righteous man may fall seven times. That is not the, the end of it. It's just a beginning. I am rising. I am rising. And I will never fall again. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name, you are praying. Before you see it, for a righteous man may fall seven times. What you should be careful of is the presence of God. The Lord will never forsake you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you read Psalm 70, Psalm 37, verse 25, David said, I have been young, now I am old. I've never seen what? As long as you are not forsaking you rise. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying today. No matter how many times you fail, as long as God is with you. I was praying a few days ago. A few years ago, when I'm ministering like this, I'll be seeing my picture. I'm here. I'll be seeing my picture everywhere. I say, God, where's those things again? But I will rise again. Amen. I will rise again. It's coming back. My strength shall be renewed. Amen. My gifts are coming back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. Use your mouth today. As long God is with you, you will rise. Amen. Call the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, pick me up again. Amen. It's God. 
It's God. It's all about God. Say, Lord, pick me up again. And cause me to rise again. And I will never fail anymore. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Ah, Lord, pick me up again. Restore me, O oh Lord. Restore my strength. Restore my gift. Restore me again. I am rising. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say after me, my destiny. Reject evil. I may not preach anymore because the father is boring. There's no point asking to sit down. Then we struggle to pray for God gave me that prayer two days ago for those who say me on, on Facebook. Pray very well. Say amen to this prayer before we pray. Let there be calmness. I decree. Please close your eyes. I decree. That thing the enemy is trying to impose in your life, in your marriage, in your ministry. By the grace of God upon me, those things is overruled. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all our children. Those children you have, you have a concern about. It's not a matter of crying. It's about, it's about praying. It's enemy. It's the work of the enemy. That's why if you are joking to prayer, they can turn your children around against you. Many children they become the enemy of their parents. Our home will never be like that. In the mighty name of Jesus. As long you continue to pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at what David said in Psalm 109. I'm coming back to that prayer. Psalm 109 from verse 1. Do not keep silent, O God of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. That's their work. Verse 2. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounding, surrounded me with words, words of hatred, and fought against me without a cause. In return to my love, they are my accusers. But David said, I will give myself to what? Prayer. That's the solution. As long as you continue to pray, you will rise again. Amen. I said you will rise again. Amen. I said you will rise again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You are going to lay hand upon yourself and by faith your children are here with you. Yeah. You speak over them. One of my daughters fell yesterday. When I was called out to her, God said, tell her to lay hand upon herself and say your destiny rejects evil. Amen. Don't joke with this prayer. Lay hand upon yourself. Close your eyes and pray. You will call the name of Jesus. You can even mention your name. From now on, reject evil. My head, my destiny, my picture, my name. Reject evil. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. My destiny, reject evil. The destiny of my children, reject evil. My picture, my name. Rejecting you, rejecting you, rejecting you. Now and always, in the name of Jesus. My destiny here, the word of God. Reject evil. Yes. Reject evil. Evil is not my person. That evil, the enemy is trying to impose upon me, I reject it. My children destiny reject it. I reject it. I reject evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious brother. In Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Say after me, I release myself from any bondage of praising against me. I release myself. In the name that is above every other name. 
empty-funded power of principality, operating around me and my ministry. I release myself, open your mouth and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let that be released. Let that be released. Let that be released. Let that be released. In the name of Jesus, I release myself. I release my wife. I release my children. I release my glory from the camp of the enemy, from any bondage, from any principalities of power. I release myself. I release myself. I release myself. I am not going into bondage. Bondage is not my portion. Affliction is not my portion. I am not going to leaderless. No, 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 I am not going to leave that. I release myself. I release myself from powers and principalities. I release myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I release myself. I release myself from every bondage approaching my family. Hey, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You have to release yourself from that bondage approaching your family. There's something powerful connected you and your family, and that is blood. If you stab yourself and say, let me allow the blood to come on, you will die. That's why you just die. You say, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. From every evil altar in my family, from every powers and principalities operating in my family, I, I release myself. I release my children. I release my glory. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release myself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I release myself. I release myself. Whatever it is, operating my family. To limit me, no, I release myself. I shall not be limited. I shall not be delayed. I shall not be killed before my time. I shall not be conquered. I release my children. I release my glory. I release my life. I release my wealth. Release yourself. Release yourself. Children, don't joke out there. Those who are people outside, please pray. It's a day of prayer. God of restoration is here. I release myself. I release my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Lay a hand upon your head, I decree. No, I want to pray for you. They will not bow your head down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That part, I want to limit you. I pronounce their doom today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer again. I release myself from barrenness. I release myself from barrenness. Violence does not mean you have children, no? Yes, sir. The opposite of violence is fruitfulness. Mm -hmm. There is no family under the earth that will not have power and principal today. Mm -hmm. They are there. In Yoruba, we call them Mama Mouse mm. They are there. They don't want to do well in life. But they don't want to allow those who want to do well to do well. That's why you must pray. You think all your friends want to do well in life? They play. Many people, they don't want to go anywhere. They are looking for who to destroy. But no one can destroy my life. I won't allow it. I don't know about you. You are going to pray from every evil covenant. Operating in my family. You can go now. I release myself today. And you can hear us pray wherever you are in this building. 
I pray for somebody now. That power that wants to frustrate your journey in this land. The Lord will take them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When word is coming out like this, don't joke. For those who have been coming here for long, you know me. Mm -hmm. Either good or bad, to God be the glory. All I have to rely on is power. Yes. Hear the testimony of our father last Sunday. It's not me that put your head in my hand, it's God. Mm. And it will continue to be your hiding place. Amen. The Lord said they want to frustrate your journey in this land, but they have failed. Amen. Just because you are here. The grace of God is working here. He will not work against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray that prayer very well. Those who want to frustrate my life in this journey, ask God to frustrate them. God has said in his word, he said, I will contend against those who contend against me. Those who want to frustrate my children, those who want to frustrate my marriage, Father, arise! And frustrate them, open your mouth and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. The fire of God is moving, it's moving. Be yourself and pray. If you want to prevail, just pray. The grace of God is at work. Arise for my family. First of all, they frustrate my ministry. Frustrate them. Frustrate them. Those who want to frustrate my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. One of our daughters shared a dream with me three days ago that she saw somebody was driving as an accident and dies. That, that will not happen. Amen. And God counsel it. Yes. Now I said to God in a prayer, if truly you called me, mm. by the end of this month, I want that person there. Mm. It will happen. You are going to pray. That thing enemy wish for me. Lord, let it happen to them. Can you pray that prayer? That which they have professed. That which they have programmed. Let it happen to God. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hey. My brother, my sister, pray. Life is a party. Your first friend is your enemy. That which enemy has broken against my family. Back to Sunday. Hey. Back to Sunday. Back to sender. 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 In Jesus. Mighty name we are praying. God is speaking to you, my sister. Tell your husband to go and hide. Do you hear me? To go and hide until he comes. Okay? Some hides must not see him now. To go and hide in place of prayer. The Lord, we are which has started good work and we perfect it in the name of Jesus Christ. But to destroy something is very easy. To build, it take time. But to destroy, if I want to break this thing now, within five minutes. But to build this thing, take months. You are going to pray. Say after me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the year is going to an end like this, those mama want to renew their power too. They will not use you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, I said they will not use you as sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. They say that, that amen is not born again. 
When I hear and say amen, I decree upon you and myself. Among those who they are going to use for sacrifice towards the end of this month, you are now our household. I accept you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every evil program against me and my family, back to center. You will be doing it. Back to center. Back to center. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, every evil program against me, my ministry, my children, my wife, Back to send that. Ah, open your mouth. Back to send that. Hey, back to send that. I do have one for you. You are back to send that. Back to send that. Back to send that. Every evening, programs against my daughters. Back to send that. Every evening, programs against my son. Back to send that. Every evening, programs against my wife. Back to send that. In the name of Jesus, pray for your husband, pray for your wife, back to send that. Evil is not my passion. My destiny rejects evil. Back to send that, back to send that, back to send that, back to send that. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name we are praying. The work of restoration is taking place now. It's taking place now. It's taking place now. In your body, it's taking place now. In your finances, it's taking place now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Everything that needs to be replaced in my body. Everything that needs to be replaced in my life. God of restoration. Replace them now. Please pray, 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 pray. Everything that needs to be replaced in my body, in my ministry, in my own, be replaced now. 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 Everything that needs to be restored, be restored now. In the right name of Jesus. You say you will restore us. You are part of restoration. Restore me, Lord. Everything that needs to be restored. I command restoration. I command restoration. I command restoration. Anything that needs to be replaced, Lord, replace them. Replace them. Replace me. Replace us. Replace them. In our book, in our home, replace them. Everything that needs to be replaced, we command restoration. We command it. Let it happen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed go and mark it down beginning from today you begin to express restoration in the mighty name of Jesus those things that are right, rightfully yours that some people are holding I command restoration in the name of Jesus Christ those who are holding what belongs to you we will not give you they are using power over you. I command it as the servant of God. If they will not release it now, they will go mad. In the name of Jesus Christ! Yes. I ask for the spirit of madness of God. The one God sent to Saul upon all our enemies now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are saying the plan and purpose of God will not come to pass in our life. They will run mad. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Job 20.15 Pray this prayer very well. Job 20.15 You can read it if you are there for me. He swallows down, down, yes. And vomits them up again. He will vomit them up. God cast them out of his belly. God will cast them out. Those wicked people, they have power. Let me say this, don't let us deceive ourselves. Don't join them to say, Satan does not have power. Jesus did not took power from Satan. He took authority. So if you play with your life, they will destroy you. Even God will be looking like this. I'm telling you. You use authority over you. You are going to pray. Every good thing that is stole in my life, I recover them now. I use authority in the name of Jesus. Every use the authority. Every good thing that some people have taken from me, I proclaim it. I restore them back. I use the authority in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. We can't be, we can't be, we can't be, we can't be. You better pray very well. We swallow down riches. We must forgive them, we must forgive them. Both go there and shut, that is very well here. I'm not for, I'm not for, I'm not for. Open your mouth and pray. Pray anyhow. After I sleep, for, I shall be up. Both go there and shut, that is very well here. Am I for? Begin to forgive them. Those who swallow good things in our life, begin to forgive them. You must forgive them. I use the authority in the name of Jesus. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. them. You must forgive them. I must recover all. I must recover all. I must recover all. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. My brother, do you believe, sir? The Lord will restore your position. In the name of Jesus Christ. I saw you sitting on the chair. He's taking that thing from you. He's coming back. Please fast for three days. White fasting. You know the meaning of white, white fasting after the service. You are going to cry for restoration and recovery. And if they will not release it gently, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm talking now, they know. They know I lay hands upon you. But I pray, the one who lives in me is bigger than them. If they will not let you go, they will die suddenly. In the name of Jesus Christ! Because you are here today, I call upon the God of restoration. Between now and next Sunday, Father, you will experience restoration. Say amen for me. You will experience restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord will empower you. You will not fear anymore. Every good thing they have tied in your life. I pray now, let that be released. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with Jesus. Amen. Let's pray that prayer again. I recover them all. I recover them all. If you David refuse to pursue, you will never recover anything. As you are praying now, you are pursuing them. Yes, so. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We are going to call the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that I have lost in the past, be it position, be it opportunity, be it relationship. I remember on the street of London, I met a daughter of the first governor in Lagos. That's why when you see people, don't just say, who is this one? She was just working in, uh, what's the name of this market in Eastern? Upton Park. 
Just say hello to me. First governor, Davis, Johnson Davis, first governor of Lagos State. You don't know who is who. And God used her to bless me. You are going to pray. Whatever it is, I'll give you time to pray. Be in position, be in relationship, be in power, spiritual gift. Say, Lord, restore me today. I cry for restoration. By your mercy, let there be total restoration of spiritual things and material things. So open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Whatever it is that you yourself know that ah, something is missing, cry for restoration. Cry for restoration. Father, restore me your mercy. Oh, you are talking to a color of it, Father. Go for a little bit of the sun. Get my shirt, get my bread. Get my more, I want more also. You are restoring. Cry for restoration. You are going to sit down and cry for restoration. Cry for restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. You cry for restoration. Come on, cry for restoration. Father, restore me. I've come to be restored. Restore me. Restore me. My position, my honor, my strength, my wealth. Restore me. Father, restore me. Oh, Father, restore me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. May the Lord sign your prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever God has not approved, I disapprove it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That thing that you want to impose in your life, it will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will express the God of restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus. Sit down. We are still going to pray. There are two major ways that you can take back what belongs to you. There are many ways to be restored. But if you can pay attention to these two major ones, every other comes under them. If you will not repent, you cannot be restored. It's good to pray. But restoration will not just come like that. You have to do some things. Number one, it can come by love and sanctification. And that is salvation. For God so loved the world, he gave his only what? Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. But those who do not believe shall be condemned. If you believed in Jesus, you shall be restored. So if you are here this morning or this afternoon, you are here to give your life to Jesus. And you yourself know that your salvation is not real. I entreat you to give your life to Jesus. Because that is the starting point. If you are not saved, you are not saved. Did you hear that? If you are not saved, you are not saved. But if you are saved, you know that there is power in the name of Jesus and Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you will restore you. Then number two, by force. Matthew 11, 12. Since day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of what? what? You have to be forceful. Spiritual violence is lawful. Did you hear that? It's not good to be violent, but when it comes to spiritual matter, be violent. Mm. Be violent. Because if you are playing with enemy, you will never. Have you seen anyone begging devil? Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. You kill. There's nothing you can do to appease wicked people except you are forceful. If you beg from today, the next three years, you will not listen. 
You have to be forceful to take what the enemy has taken from you. You don't want to release it. You have to command it. And before, if you can kill them, you kill them. If you can cage them, you cage them. Because that is what they wanted to do in your life. That which the enemy aimed to achieve in your life, it will never happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For this purpose, first John 38, Jesus came to do what? To destroy the works of the enemy. Jesus. He came to destroy the works of the enemy. Because if you allow the works of the enemy to grow in your life, you will not fulfill your destiny. For everything God made was good. <laughs> but that goodness, uh, for that thing to transform, it must be forceful. So it must be forceful. There are great deposits of glory in you as you are looking at me. Even things you yourself get to be discovered. Jeremiah 3, 33 and verse 3. God said, Call unto me, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. So you yourself, you don't know yourself. Among us today, we never know who will be prime minister of this country tomorrow. As I'm saying now, you yourself, you don't even believe it. I'm telling you, you never know where God can take you to. When Obama was born, do you think Obama believed he became prime minister? President of America. No. no. There is greatness in you. You must be forceful. Many Christians are so relaxed. The all shall be well. What shall be, shall be. Don't join them to say that slogan. What shall be, shall not be if you are not forceful. If you are not prayerful enough, you will not fulfill destiny. Let's face it. <coughs> Moses was so meek. He was the most meekest man on earth. The Bible says. If you study the Bible very well, he never fulfilled the ministry. There are some land to be conquered. That's what God told Joshua. I have this mindset from today. Don't pray Sunday to Sunday. You are not helping yourself. You pray this Sunday now, the next Sunday is time you remember to pray. Ah. Don't fast once a month. Fast once a week. You can do it. Bible tells us that king, kings should eat for strength, not for pleasure. If you are not hungry, don't eat. If you eat too much, your spiritual life will go down. I know what I'm talking about. If you sleep too much, your spiritual life what? We die. If you talk too much, you are killing yourself. We should learn how to hide. Hide yourself in the place of prayer. And be prayerful. Be forceful. God has promised to restore us. And he will restore us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Joel 2 and verse 25. I'm going to write up now. We have three more prayer. Then we share the grace. That's the two major ways to express restoration. Bible says, what shall separate us from the love of God? You must love God. Many of us, we don't truly love God. You just want to come to church and relax and go. But when it comes to real thing, you don't love God. For you to know you love God, it is when it's not convenient. Many people now, as soon as this rain started before coming, Church, they will not come. It's not running. Our Bible, our Bible study. Many years ago, we want to go to church and there was snow outside. And my wife said, and there was no car. We can't go. I said, eh? Okay. As soon as there is fire in this house, are you going to stay in the house? She will run. And she laughed. Love God with passion. We're talking about your maker. What is rain? It's when you see people when they are not praying, running after them, when things are burning them. When enemy is about to destroy, them, one woman will call me, me doing the night. Nice. Madam, don't you check that. Ah, I just had a dream. Somebody wants to shoot me. Eh? Eh? Abi? She can't sleep anymore. Bad dream every day. When he goes out, somebody will put gun. 
She doesn't sleep anymore. Any prayer, she will come. She will come. Pastor, should we fast? Me, I don't want to fast. I just finished one fasting. I'm not fasting this week. Don't wait until that time. That's why Jesus said, pray for you not to pray. You still okay now when you still have that strength to pray. Time is coming. That strength will not be there. That time will not be there. You will not regret your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be like Esau. Say, when it's time for him to have the glory, he repented, it was too late. Mm -hmm. Bible says he cried. It was too late. He was hungry one day. He said, if I don't eat this food, I will die. Will you die if you don't eat one day? No. no. He hurt that day. But for years, he suffered from it. Mm -hmm. Let's go home today. And put ourselves together. Seek God first. And then put your that thing. If it's raining, you will go to work. You go. But when you come to church, I can't go there. I just go, it's pastor. It's pastor business. It's not my business. It's not my business. And you never know God can call you tomorrow. Or do you think God cannot call you? Uh, God can call you. Those people in Thai, God can call you. My brother, your face look as if you are an apostle. I'm telling you, God can call you. God can call your children. One pastor, let me round up with this story. I work as an evangelist in that church. Ah, that pastor frustrated us. I mean, I designed that. God just called his true son one day. He will not come to, with them to church. And you can't treat them like this. Eh? You remember how you treated us. So you know it's good to be good to pastor. Whatever you sow. God can raise your children tomorrow. God can call you yourself. It's not about age. If God wants to use you, he wants to use you. If you refuse, he will destroy you. That's God. You better rise up now. Brace up. Forget about material things. After you'll be many years, you'll be running after money. Where's that money? Show me. Many of us now, as we are here now, if I ask you, do you have five thousand pounds in savings? You don't have. You know how many years you've been working, including myself. That's why you guys are putting share call you. Your salary cannot make you. What we make is God's favor. What made Joseph in Egypt is what? Favor. Favor. You want to make it in life is God's favor, not by working. Keep that. It's good to work, but give time for God. Be forceful from today. Be forceful. When it comes to spiritual thing, be forceful. You become Christian for years, dozens of years now. If you have a dream, you don't have a gift to interpret. Just a gift. I see people calling after prophet. I had a dream, sir. Uh, uh, snake want to bite my head. Will you tell me the meaning? Uh, after 20 years of becoming Christian, a gift. Uh, it's very simple. You study your Bible, it's very simple. These things are free, they are yours. You don't have to pay for them. You go and fast for seven days. That's the secret. You go and fast for seven days and read Psalm 19 every day. If you desire to have a gift of interpretation dream, it will come. Freely. Seven days fasting Psalm 19 every day. It will come. These are things that are yours freely. But you are ignoring them. You are running after money. If God has not marked you, to be the best in your family, it won't happen. But you know what? If you please God, God can give what does not belong to you, give you. The story of Joseph, uh, David, 1 Samuel 16, when that prophet came, he studied your Bible very well. God has never called David. He has chosen his brother before. 
But when they came, Bible says, I've rejected them. Is that not so? No, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. And David can say, yeah, this one. Bible says he was ruddy. The presence of God was with him. And he was anointed. And he became the best. I'm praying for somebody now. In this season, you will enjoy the best of God. In the mighty name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Brace up. God is talking to somebody. Brace yourself up. Go all the way for God. All the way. All the way. Trust Him. God will not use you for nothing. He said, I have not called my children to seek me. What? No. God is not unjust. For those of us who are doing the work of God, I can't lie to you. God is blessing us. Ah, God is blessing. He's looking after us. It's not about material things. Don't get me wrong, bro. God is good. He's good to serve God. And the Lord will honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's rise up. Joel 2.25. Somebody read that. We are going to pray two or three prayers, then we go. True love and be forceful. Joel 2.25. Who is reading for us? So I will restore to you mm -hmm. the years that the swarming locust has eaten. Is enough. I will restore to you. You are going to cry upon the Lord. Father, restore all my wasted effort. Wasted years. Restore today. Use the word of God according to your word. Many of us will labor, but all in vain. But if you get it right with God, it's never too late for you. No, it's never too late. Those things are being stored somewhere. That's why blessing of 10 years, God can give you in a day. When he speaks with you, that is God. You never lose anything with God. The blessing of 30 years, he can give you in a day. And you enjoy your life. So go ahead and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, restore my wasted years. And every wasted effort. Pray, 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 pray. As you make decisions to serve him like never before, every wasted years and effort be converted to blessing today. Be converted, be converted, be converted, be converted. In the name of Jesus. Every year that every year that the In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Lamentation 3, 35 and 36. This is the last prayer. You ask for what you want, and I'm led to pray for the church. This Bible verse is very powerful. Write it down. Lamentation 3, 35 and 36. To turn aside to justice, do a man. Before the, before the face of the Most High, or subvert a man his cause, the Lord does not approve. No. God is not by us. What belongs to you, he will give you. That's why I don't struggle with the people. I don't struggle with people. You see, some people will be lobbying to know people to go for a program. No. <laughs> I don't do that. What belongs to me will find me. Ah, I say greatness will find you. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand upon that wall. Say, Father, what belongs to me? Let me, let me find me in this room. As I go this good Lord, let everything that belongs to me find me in the mighty name of Jesus. In the midst of my last Lord. Amen. The Bible verse jump upon me now. Amen. Amen. You will understand it now. Matthew 24. I hope I can find it. Matthew 24, where the Bible says, wherever you can find carcass, ego will find it. Matthew 24, yeah, verse 28. For whatever, for wherever the carcass is, there the egos will be gathered together. Anywhere you are, blessing will gather for you. Amen. 
that's the powerful word of God. You know, I pray God, but when we choose to go away, we are going to They must eat. Those who are going to bless you, the Lord will order them to find you in the name of Jesus Christ. You just stand where you are. Allow God to order your step. He just ask you to stay here. You stay. They will find you. They must find you. It's the word of God. That word is for somebody. Else. Those who will honor you this week, they will find you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's all about location. If your location is wrong, your allocation will never arrive. The Lord ordered the step of a good man. Is that not Bible? If God asks you to stay put, stay. You will think you are losing out. Devil is smart. Devil will tease you. That time your friends will be making money. Since you'll be happy, they'll be telling you, are you stupid? Can't you see they are deceiving you? Stay. They are collecting wealth. They will spend it too. That thing belongs to you. Oh, you are not in the spirit. You are going to pray that prayer. Lord, I have decided to wait for you. Let joy find me this way. Let promotion find me this way. Those who are going to use for my greatness, order them, O oh Lord, to find me. Open your mouth and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. They must find you. Some people are holding what belongs to you. They will find you. You just stay put wherever God has placed you. Command your blessing to find you as we go. This week will lead to another month. Now begin to ask for great and mighty things. If I were you, I will speak to November. November, I hear the word of God. You must cooperate with me. November is my month of glory. Are you speaking? November is my month of greatness. It's my month of unspeakable joy. In November, I will not die. Are you speaking? No good thing will die in my hands and in my life. In November and beyond, the joy of the Lord is my portion. It's my month of enlightenment. Yes, my month of testimonies and breakthroughs. Prophesy into the month, into the new month. Prophesy. Prophesy. Those who prevail, pray. Prophesy. Your confession is your possession. Prophesy into the new week as we go into the new month. Say in the presence of God, everything shall be well with me. All shall be well with me in the month of November and beyond. I will not struggle. I will not lack anything good. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. It is done in the mighty name of Jesus. For those of you who are here for the first time, you can go on your knees. Especially those of you who are new in this country, the Lord said we should pray for you. Let's put our hands together that they will find themselves. Please stretch your hands to them. Promise out upon them. I'll come and anoint you that they will find themselves. They will find God. They shall be established in this land. If they've been going through any struggle, that struggle comes to an end today. Let's pray for them because they are here today. Lord, increase your favor upon them. Let every closed door before them be open. Let there be a release of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, pray for them. Pray for them. Decree over them. They will not miss it. 
for you to be here, God allowed it. That God will be their priority. This one will serve God. Many of us will forget easily. You think you are here by your power. There are thousands of people they want to come. God has not enabled them to come. For you to be here, God wants to use you. We so will fight that for God. All shall be well with you. Double grace. Double anointing. No more struggle in your life. There's anything following you before that is not the plan of God. He will not follow you anymore. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will not cage you. Amen. He will not stop you. Amen. He will not be stagnant. Amen. He will not be stagnant. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every cycle of failure and delay. I break them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will bless you. Because you are here today, you will know it for good. Amen. You are coming back to testify. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you, sir. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Lord will strengthen you. No good thing will die in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the head and all the tail. You will not go down. You will not beg before you eat. I see a lot of responsibility around you. And you are thinking, God, how am I going to do it? The Lord said, I should tell you, you will not be ashamed. I don't know how God will do it, but what I can tell you, you need to move closer to God. You will never be ashamed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is well with you, man. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Lord will wipe away your tears. In the mighty name of Jesus, He will restore you. Restoration. 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 Every final ground is broken now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Restoration. I pray for spirit of holiness and purity to come into your life. Sin will not dominate you. Sin will not dominate you. They will want to use that bait to destroy you. Sin will not dominate you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you now. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. In your life, infirmity is rebuked. They want to plague you with sickness. I reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not come to me. It will not come to my family. Amen. It is well with you now. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. You have come to the house of grace. God will take you from grace to grace. Amen. Thank you Lord. I speak against those who are pursuing you. They shall be disgraced. The Lord is warning you against friends. You don't need many friends. They will not kill you suddenly. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be careful, friends. Be careful. In fact, be so... God is talking to you when I was talking about people talking too much. Don't mind me, we talk too much. Be careful. It is well with you. Amen. Please, brothers, can you go around? It is well with you, sir. Amen. You are the Gideon of our time. You fulfill destiny. Amen. Be humble, sir. Okay? Be humble. It is well with you. Amen. God wants to use you. Yes, this glory will speak. Amen. Don't fight with your maker. You can't win. Never. I've never seen any man win against that. It is well with you. Amen. You can see after the service. It is well with you, sir. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your family will celebrate you. Amen. Those who are waiting for your downfall, they will wait tomorrow. Amen. I said, those who are waiting for your downfall, they will wait till tomorrow. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will not get you. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. 
say the Lord will keep you. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. A righteous turning into it. The Lord will hide you. He will shoot you. Amen. Those arrow flying in the day, night, all the time looking for you, will never find you. Amen. There is something you are doing that makes God to be happy. Not by your power. Please continue to do it. I don't know what the right is. You are doing something. That thing you are doing that makes God to be happy with you. You never forget to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. More grace, more anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. Do you mind me? Let me just touch. It is well with you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I speak divine settlement. Settlement. Those who are waking war against you, the Lord will expose them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. may your destiny reject evil. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Any other one? My brother, it is well with you, sir. Amen. Favor upon you, Amen. grace upon you, Amen. anointing, Amen. joy. Amen. May the promises of God find expression in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I come against causes, evil causes, Amen. over you. Amen. It will not work anymore. Amen. Every voice of accuser in your life are silenced now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, come, come, come forward. Let's rise up. We want to pray for church. You can kneel down there. You can kneel down. I'm coming. Because of our time, Second Kings chapter six, verse one. Let's rise up. And the sons of the prophet said to Elijah, "See now, the place where we are is too small for us." The prophet said, "Let me declare. Say, Lord, find a better place for us. Take us to our reward. Go ahead and pray. If you love this ministry, pray that prayer very well." As we cross to the other side of the city, Father, please find a place for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, find a place that is convenient for us. As we increase in size and numbers, find a place for us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, find a place for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, find a place for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will get a new way to our mighty and to watch each other. Father, please locate us to another place. This is a covenant of God upon my life. It will work for you. My God will fight your battles. You are against your life. Come to an end today. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power change hands now. You have come to Mount Zion. Mountain of our living God. You are saved. Oh, yeah. with my we pray that you will find a fight. better place for us in the name of Amen. Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will make a way by your mercy yes. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Lord, by your power, we pray that an opening will be created. A space will be made available Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Abba Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's continue to give glory to the Lord for what he has done. Thank you, Lord. Father, Let's give praise because our Father answers prayers. Let's praise his name because today he has touched our lives, he has touched our homes. Because he has done great and mighty things. Because he has done wondrous things for us and in our lives. Let's praise him, let's praise him. We give you glory, Lord. We thank you, Abba Father, because you answer prayer. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done today. Thank you for the life you have touched, O Lord. Thank you for the situations you have turned around. Thank you for the chains you have broken. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Thank you for the ways you have made. Father, we praise your name. Thank you because every power of you has been reversed. 
and the pillar of people as we sent back to the senders. We praise your holy name. Thank you for fighting for us. We praise you, Jesus. Let's stretch forth our hands to the um, pastor and pray for him. Let's pray for the servants of God that God has used, that the Lord God Almighty will renew his strength, that Jehovah will cover him, that he will dwell under the covering of the Most High God, that the Lord will never leave him nor forsake him, that the grace of God will be made available and even more available for him in the name of Jesus, that all that concerns him, the Lord will perfect. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your servant. Thank you for using him. Father, we pray for him, Lord, that you will continually bless him. We pray that your grace will be multiplied upon him. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that he will not be cast away from your presence. And your spirit will not be taken from him. But you will take him from grace to grace and from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. And that which you have spoken, O Lord, you will bring to fulfillment. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great is he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. It's offering time. Blessing time. We're going to quickly read the book of Malachi, chapter 3. Verse 10 says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now you there will say the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out the blessing, and there will not be room enough to receive it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time for our tithe and offering. Please, let's give to the Lord. He is the one that the blessing us. He is the one that made provision for us. Let's give unto him our tithe and our offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What can you do? Jesus, on our feet, please. Name above every other name. Oh.
Let me give you all the glory. We appreciate you, O oh Lord. We are grateful unto you, Father, for the service of today. We thank you for provision, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for the offering of your people. Thank you, Father, for titles in the house. Glory be to your holy name, Lord, in Jesus' name. As we have brought before you that from that which you have given unto us, that we ask, O oh Lord, that continually you will bless us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will continue to reap the good of the land, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which you have written concerning us, we manifest and come to pass even in our lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, faithful God. Hallowed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's put our feet. Hallelujah. You believe God has answered your prayers. Hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and give God praise for today's service. Give your hands. Appreciate him. Let's put our feet, please. Let's bless him. Let's exalt him. Glorify God for what he has done today. Give him glory, give him honor, give him praise, exhort him. For sure, you are coming back to testify. For God has turned things around for you. We give you honor, we give him glory. Thank you, ancient of peace. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I decree upon you as you go, the Lord will go with you. There shall be a great change in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pronounce upon you new great beginning. In the name of Jesus Christ, every obstacle before you are dismantled. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God will bless you. This week you will come into money. Come on, you will come into money. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that divine idea that will generate money is coming upon you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not walk in darkness. Amen. You will not walk alone. Amen. None of you shall be disappointed. Amen. None of you shall be stagnant. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. my God will bless you. And people will call you blessed. Amen. People will call you blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you yourself will be a blessing to many. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you go, favor is released upon you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Grace is released upon you. Amen. Joy is released upon you. Amen. Divine protection and preservation is released upon you. Amen. Whoever come against you will flee several times. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your destiny will never harbor evil. Amen. Your destiny will not harbor evil. Amen. Those who are calling your head for evil, back to sender. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For you are pronounced November a month of joy. A month of plenty money, a month, a month of breakthrough, a month of elevation. Whatever you lay your, your hand upon in November, we become money in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is talking about money. People will come into money in November in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you are going to use that money for the things of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pronounce over you. You are not a failure. You are a success in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord is for you from now on. Nothing will work against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. In the month of November, you will not die. But you will live to glorify the name of the Father. Anyone who bless you shall be blessed. Whoever causes you shall be caused. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you and I will come back to testify Amen. to the goodness of God. Amen. Concerning the prayer we have prayed for this ministry before December 25, Amen. I decree as a servant of God, we are going to our reward. In the name of Jesus Christ, for all of you who say Amen, my God will bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus, unto him who is able to do great and mighty things, I commend you. As you go this week, go and find favor. Amen. For those who believe, go and find favor. Amen. I said, go and find favor. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who are holding you money, those who are holding what belongs to you, they will release it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And all shall be well with you. Amen. Father, we give you praise for all you have enabled us to do today. We return all glory back to you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Close your eyes, please. Thank you, Lord.
The Lord is speaking to somebody. As you go, there shall be showers of blessing. If you believe a prophet, you will get the reward of the prophet. I decree again, as you go, even beginning from today, there shall be showers of blessing. Miracle that nobody can take from you. Is released now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your light will never go out. Amen. Many of you here, I saw light upon you. The Lord has restored you. That thing that you and I did in the past make us to lose our dominion. We never do it anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, we honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father and my God. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, I said, see, amen. I think as we share the grace, be sensitive in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. be with you from now on. Amen. His presence will never depart from you. Amen. His presence will take you higher. Amen. He will protect you. Amen. He will preserve you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, ancient of this. Now put your hand in your chest. When I'm doing this, just pay attention. You know, we always share grace together. The Lord says, as you share grace, put your hand, don't rush. I will lead you. Thank you, Jesus. Now declare upon yourself. Let's go. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Twelve powerful. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Let's go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Who is starting? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you.